Hello, my name is Felipe Gavilán and I want to welcome you to this C Sharp 11 course where we will go from beginner to advanced. In this first lecture, I will give you an introduction to C Sharp. I will talk about its characteristics, I will talk about the different .NET runtimes that we have available, in which platforms we can use .NET, etc. If you want to learn more about C Sharp, you can buy my Udemy course today. I will have a link with a discount in the description of this video. But this course here in YouTube is going to be free, so let's get started. We'll start by talking about C Sharp. C Sharp is a general purpose, a strongly typed, object oriented language. The fact that it is general purpose means that we can use it practically to program anything. This is contrary to other languages, such as R, which is intended to work with statistics and graphics. A strongly type means that breaking the data type rules is not allowed. We will talk more about data types later. With respect to object oriented programming, this means that C Sharp implements encapsulation, inheritance, and polymorphism. Encapsulation means that we can control who has access to data and functionality in our programs through access modifiers. Inheritance is a mechanism for sharing code between types. Polymorphism is a technique to be able to work with abstractions when programming. This allows us to have flexible applications. In C Sharp, a type is a unit of data and functionality. It basically allows us to represent things. For example, invoices, dates, text, people, etc. Anything in C Sharp can be represented as a type. Something that makes C Sharp special is the unified type system. With this, all types share a base type. That is, all types share basic characteristics. As we said, C Sharp is an object oriented language, and in it, we can use classes and interfaces. Classes allow us to define types, that is, units with data and functionality. Interfaces allow us to define something like a class with no data. Interfaces are a fundamental mechanism for achieving polymorphism. Although C Sharp is an object oriented language, it has features of functional paradigms. For example, functions can be treated as values. That is, we can store a function in a variable, and we can even send a function to another function as a parameter. C Sharp supports unnamed functions that capture variables. Also, we can use declarative programming with link queue. We can also use records to have immutable types. C Sharp is primarily a type safe language, which means that we can only interact with types based on the way they are defined. In other words, we cannot treat a number as if it were a date. If the type is a number, then we can only treat it as a number. This may sound obvious, but not all languages are like this. For example, in JavaScript, we can treat a number as a date, even though this causes errors when executing the program. C Sharp is a statically typed language, which means that correct type usage is checked at compile time. Basically, the advantage of this is to eliminate silly bugs that comes from using a type in the wrong way. For example, if you have a functionality that expects to receive a number, you can't pass it a date or text or anything that isn't a number. This makes our job so much easier. However, it is important to note that C Sharp allows you to skip this with dynamic. With dynamic, just like with languages like JavaScript, we can use types freely. Memory management in C Sharp is automatic. It is the common language runtime, CLR, which, through the garbage collector, is in charge of freeing from memory those objects that will no longer be used. In other languages, this is not automatic, as in C. Just like we saw with dynamic, where we can skip a C Sharp feature, we can also skip this automatic memory management. This can be useful for critical parts of your application where speed is essential. C Sharp can be used in Windows, both for desktop applications, web, servers, and console applications, Mac, also for desktop, web, server, and console applications, 
Linux for web applications and console applications, Android and iOS for mobile applications. It can also run on Xbox devices, Surface Hub and HoloLens. With Blazor, you can run C Sharp even in web browsers like Microsoft Edge and Google Chrome. As we have said, C Sharp can be executed on different platforms. Basically, this requires different runtimes. These runtimes are what allow C Sharp to work in different places. The runtime architecture of a C Sharp application is divided into two parts the CLR and the base class library or BCL. The CLR provides essential services such as memory and error handling. C Sharp is what is known as a managed language because it is compiled into managed code called Intermediate Language or IL. The CLR then converts the intermediate language into machine code, which is what is executed on the device. This conversion from intermediate language to machine code occurs just before its execution. We call this just-in-time compilation. Another type of compilation is ahead of time, which basically compiles all the code at once. This last technique helps the application load faster. The container for the managed code is called an assembly. An assembly contains intermediate language code, as well as metadata, that is, data about the program as such. A program can read its own metadata. We call this reflection. The base class library, or BCL, provides important functionality for any program, such as collections, text processing, XML and JSON handling, networking, encryption, concurrency, etc. A runtime, in addition to the CLR and BCL, may have an application layer. This layer is the one that allows us to be more specific about that type of application that we're building. For example, is it a web application? Is it a mobile application? This is determined by the application layer. In this course, we are going to use .NET 7. This is an open source runtime. We can write practically all kinds of applications with .NET 7, from web applications, desktop, mobile, games, among others. Many of these apps can run on Windows, Linux, and macOS. MAUI or multi-platform application user interface is a type of .NET application that can run on iOS and Android, as well as desktop applications on Windows and macOS. MAUI is the evolution of Xamarin. Unity. Another option that we have with .NET is to program games using the Unity platform. .NET Micro Framework. This option allows us to work with .NET in embedded device scenarios. These have the particularity of having very few resources. .NET Framework This is the classic version of .NET, which only works on Windows. Its last version was 4.8, and basically no new features are added to it. It is only supported by Microsoft. Ideally, whenever possible, new developers should use .NET and not use .NET Framework. Alright, this is the first class of the course. In the next class, we will delve into the C-Sharp language in a more practical way. If you want to learn more about C Sharp, buy my Udemy course today. I also have courses on Entity Framework Core, Concurrency in C Sharp, among others. Link with a discount to all of my courses in the description of this video. Thank you.